Hey guys, JCC2224 here, really, really fumbling on my words trying to film this video. This is like my fifth take already, and I'm just not going to care anymore because I've already gone through so many takes. I'm just going to talk. These are the Shore Troopers, the drivers. The new one right there is the ATACT driver. It's a pretty good figure. I like it. If you know me about the 6-inch Black Series, it's not really my line. Uh, I, I end up with a lot of these. I just end up with them. And I do enjoy these figures, however, it's just, they're not my core Star Wars collecting. They don't really make me mm, super happy. However, these are just really good action figures. They have the articulation, the detail, the sculpt, the appearance. I really do think these are some of the best of the best of the Black Series 6-inch. Especially this mold in particular. It's so articulated, so poseable. Poses really naturally. It just looks nice, even though it has a few little uh, anatomy issues like I think the shoulders a little too broad and the arms are a little too disconnected from the body I, I I still enjoy it though I still think it's a really great figure and I love the articulation on these I've already gone over the articulations but some things I really like are how inward the arms go and the nice elbow hinge and the head is pretty poseable and can actually tilt uh the wrists can go up and down, and the rest is pretty standard for the Black Series. However, I do love the articulation on these. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, though, is the paint. The paint is typically pretty good on these as well. Uh, all of them have some sort of wash on them, which, uh, if you also know me, I'm not a huge, huge fan of weathering on my figures. If it's, like, movie accurate, sure, I'm fine with it. And these guys are movie accurate with their weathering. However, some of the ways they weathered them are kind of weird. Going over to the uh, the first release of this mold, the uh, squad leader. Or was what's the hover tank driver the first release? I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, there's... Uh, you can see for the weathering on the blue, you can see that weird... You, you can see, like, the line. Do you see that? Where it's just, like, tan paint. Like, it's a tan tampograph a part of the blue, so it's like a clean stripe, but just some detailed deco on it. It's really weird looking, and also it just has some weird splotches of weathering there and, like, nowhere else. Uh, yeah, weathering's kind of weird on him. However, on the others, it's more natural. Except for right here on the normal Shore Trooper. That's, that's just a weird little spot. But yeah, I do enjoy the weathering on these. It's not my favorite thing. But it's pretty good. Uh, one thing I do want to show off is the brand new one and some of the interesting deco choices. Uh, so you can see the gray right there. That's the squad leader, or I should say the commander. And uh, if you didn't know the whole debacle, the whole debacle of the uh, uh, hover tank driver commander being like the prominent one in the movie and this guy being barely visible, uh, you can swap them if you want. However, it's not entirely accurate from what I hear. There's something different with like the striping and maybe that red logo isn't there on the hover tank driver commander. I don't really know for sure. But yeah, you can swap them if you want. There's also a normal ATACT driver. Wait, you see that? So it's bobbing a little bit. It's pretty funny. I thought I bought a Black Series figure, not a Funko Pop. Uh, that, that's actually you shouldn't be too big of an issue. But yeah, I do uh, like the deco on this guy. Uh, it's it's the driver commander. I do believe uh, there is the commander sitting in the seat, and then next to him there is a non-gray shoulder uh, trooper driver. I, I guess the head swap would work on those too, but whatever um do like the paint on this i'd say this is probably my favorite interpretation of the figure i do enjoy the the red you know i like the little red imperial logo right there and also one thing that i really want to point out i love this armor in white if there's one thing i like it's just white armored characters yes it's a little overdone in star wars there's even the old republic when it didn't didn't even make sense for the characters to be white armored like you know the clone troopers they still did it anyway, but yeah, there's uh, there, there's these guys. Um, I do enjoy the white, like I said. However, I do like the uniqueness of the tan look of the original Shore Troopers. It really does remind me of the original Kashyyyk clone troopers from Revenge of the Sith with their uh, green. But yeah, there's there's a casual look at these. Uh, uh, I did fumble and stumble a little bit, but. You know what, I just want to make a quick little video comparing these, showing them off casually. Let me know if you want, like, casual videos of me just talking, because most of my videos are very formulaic. I, I know what I'm going to say ahead of time, but it's like 11 o'clock right now, and I just wanted to film a video. 
And uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Make sure to do that commenting, do that liking, and do that subscribing. You should check out my Facebook and Instagram page if you got a chance. Have a day, guys. And as always, force may be with... <clears throat> I almost burped right there.